This DLC tutorial will walk you through how you can capture a Skype call in our recording booths. We suggest you bring a thumb drive along with you to transfer the final product to your computer. The first thing you will do is open up the Camtasia 2 software. The icon looks like this. Once the program opens, you'll be greeted with this screen. Next, we are going to open up Skype. Once open, log into your details. Now look at the very top of the screen for this icon that looks like a film strip. Click on it and then on Start Recording. You will see this window pop up in the center of your screen. Check that it is set on full screen, camera off, and that the microphone has USB audio codec selected. Then press Record. This box will disappear and then you will get a three second countdown. You'll notice that the film strip back at the top of the screen is now red. Now you're ready to start your Skype call. Here you'll see my lovely assistant Eric on the other end of the call. Once the interview is done, just go back to the top of the screen, click the red film icon, and then stop recording. Camtasia will pop back up. You can see that the bottom of the screen now has the full film strip of the video. If you only need the audio, you can click on the strip and then select separate video and audio. Now to get the clip out of Camtasia, you need to go up to Share and then click Export. Type what you want to call your video and then click Export. Camtasia will then export the clip into a standard MP4 format. The longer your interview was, the longer this step will take. Once it is finished, you can click Reveal in Finder to locate the clip. In this case, it is on the desktop. Because these clips are usually somewhat large, you'll now want to attach your thumb drive. Open it up and then drag the file to your drive. At this point, you might be done. If you need to slow down the audio in order to transcribe it, you've got one more program to go. Look for the headphones at the bottom right of the screen. This is Audacity. It is a free application for both Windows and Mac. Go up to File and click Import and then Audio. Find your clip and then open it. You might get this error message, but don't worry about it. Your waveforms will show up on the screen. You can then press the green triangle to preview your clip. This is audio to give an example of what your voice will sound like when you slow it down. I am going to read the To slow it down, go up to Effect and then Change Speed. This window will pop up and then you'll want to pull the slider to the left we suggest to around minus 20. Click OK and you'll see the waveform change a bit. Press play again and you'll now have a slower version of the clip. An example of what your voice will sound like when you slow it down. I am going to read. Now go to File Export to save the slowed down clip. Be sure to transfer this new file to your thumb drive and you're all done. As always, if you have any questions, just ask a DLC staff member and we'll be happy to help.